Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to the channel to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can do a Earth spinning around, and it's pretty fast to do as, as well. You're going to do this inside of Fusion with adding three very simple steps, adding a picture, a 3D shape, and a little bit of animation, and then we have this little effect. And I'll show you how to do that inside of DaVinci Resolve. So without further ado, let's just jump right into that video. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. The first thing you would need to do this effect is of course a map as I have right here. You can find that on Google or stock sites or anything. All that's important, it is a map of the entire world or a map of a planet or the moon or whatever you want to create. Next thing we'll do, we'll go up to the effects and in the effects I'll go into effects here and I'm going to take a fusion composition and I'm going to drop that down to the timeline. And you know, per default this is five seconds. We can drag here to make it longer or right click and go into change clip duration and we can change the, instead of five, we're going to change this into a 10 seconds change like that. Cool. With that selected, we'll go right into Fusion. And here we are in Fusion and we have our media out right here. I'll go up to the media pool and I have my picture right here. Close down the media pool. So this is the first thing we'll need. This is, I'm going to push one so we can see what I have right here. Then I am going to use a 3D shape which is right here. Then I do need to have a 3D renderer like that. Here we go. So I'm just going to do this pretty fast. So I'm going to add in the map into the shape 3D like that. And I'm going to take the shape 3D into the renderer and I'm going to take the renderer 3D into the output here. Of course, now it's per default a square, which looks a little bit silly, unless we believe that the world is a square. So we'll go into the shape and we're going to change that in the inspector from plane to sphere. So now we have actually already a uh, world. And of course we can go into the transform here and um, we can turn it up or down or we could zoom it in a little bit here and if we go into the rotation we can make it turn around like we see like that looks fine cool here we have our world so we can just very quickly go to the beginning of the keyframe selecting our 3d shape and let's see we're going to position it right here i'm going to zoom it in just a little bit let's say we want to do perhaps we want to be around here from the beginning i'm going to put in a keyframe and we want to do a rotation of the earth as well so let's say we're going to start around here I'm going to put in a keyframe and you know we can then go to the end of our composition making the world spin like a little bit faster it should actually be the other way around i think something like that. So now the world is spinning and I also want the zoom so we'll go a little bit backwards. So this is what we have. And you know, now DaVinci will just think for a sec and uh, we have this little effect here of the world spinning out of a square photo of the world, which is kind of cool. Um, if we didn't want to, for instance, add in a background, we could add in different backgrounds uh, if we wanted to. Let's say we are going to take this twilight here. Let's use that. And I am going to put in a merge node instead. So I'll just take a merge node. I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to take my, I'm just going to push one on my media so you can see what I have. I have this star field here. I'm going to put this in uh, by holding the right mouse button, dragging this into the merge and let go. And I'll make sure that this is going to be my background. I'm just going to take off the 3D renderer first. So this is what we have. And from the 
uh, renderer 3D. I'm going to put this into the merge as my foreground. And here we have that. Pretty cool. And uh, pretty easy to do this little effect here. So that looks cool. Uh, one thing we could add into the whole thing here would be to add in around here. I would add in a glow. And you're going to get the prompt up here of the tool selection by pushing shift space bar at the same time. By the way, I'm just going to write glow. Oops. Glow, and I'm going to take this glow here. And now I'm going to put it right here, and that's not necessarily what I want. So I'm just going to select the glow and push shift and drag. And I'm going to put it in between the media one and the 3D replacement here. And uh, now we can go in with the glow selected and we can go in and change the glow size and also the glow. A little bit more like that. And then we can go into blend mode. Something like that. And we can go into the color scale and let's see if we scale up the green a little bit here. Scale red. Also a little bit blue. It's just to give it a little bit of something. And then we go into the glow size. And let's say something like that. Just a little thing you can add if you really want to. So this is how you can do a 3D shaped earth in Mint using the Vince Resolve and Fusion. And it's pretty easy. So anyway, I do hope you find this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.